All right, welcome. Peace, love, and justice to everyone who is here. It is me, Jose Alfredo Ra, and this is going to be the first video, right? For the Water Signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces for this January 1st, which we are now in 2022, right? Of the Gregorian calendar. So, hope you're doing well. And I would like to start pulling some energy for you beautiful water signs, right? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So, remember, you can follow me on TikTok so that you can get more messages there. Um, it's in the About section, so make sure you just go check that out. So, let's start pulling for the water signs, okay? Let's see what we have come through. For Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces no matter what placement, right? All right, I'm ready. So, Uranus with revolution, first house, which is the self, and Gemini, right? The social butterfly. So, with Uranus, that's definitely talking about revolution, right? So, here we go. Let me show you that. Revolution. Take a moment to just pick up that energy of this card. So, with Uranus, you should probably go find out what zodiac sign is in your Uranus placement. So, you can have a better understanding of yourself. Because the first house and the self is coming out, right? And we know that when Uranus comes out, Uranus is very similar to like Scorpio energy, where it's like breaking through, it's like a tower moment, it's cause, it's uh, creating a cause for transformation, right? It's like an awakening. It also could deal with like technology and innovation, which is also related to Aquarius, which we are in the age of Aquarius as of like a year already, I think, if I recall correctly. The first house, right, is bringing the focus back onto the self. The first house is Aries energy, right? So being active in the pursuit, right, of making sure that you make yourself the number one priority right now. Taking care of your physical body, your emotional well-being, right? Um, your spiritual needs. Your mental clarity and understanding and all that. And with Gemini the Butterfly here... For Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? This could mean that there's a sense or uh, you're coming into this energy where you need to start to tap into the Gemini um, energy, which is expressing communication more, being more flexible, right? Gemini is a very social, again, so it could be time for you now to start putting yourself into more social environments and settings. At the bottom, we have quincux, which is complexity, right? So quincux with complexity means that in Uranus revolution, means that you're going to break through any, any struggles, right? Or anything that is creating an opposing force in your life, you're going to break through, okay? Whatever missing pieces of knowledge you know, information that you need or something that's going to help you change a situation in your experience, you're going to break through because you have that on the Uranus. On the first house, I mean, don't make this up. On the first house, you have fourth house. Okay, look at that. Fourth house is the house of cancer. Four is also the number of completion, right? So, and we have one, which is the self, which is the active number, the divine masculine energy. Right? So you're coming to a sense of completion within yourself, understanding that you are whole, right? As a being, as a sovereign being. With the four of the roots, also, this is taking care of things. This is understanding your position in the family, right? In your family, in your roots. This is dealing with um, family issues and creating um, new habits that promote a, a healthier sense of being within the four energy, which is family and structure. And right after that, we have sixth house, right? Which is another energy of balance. 
And this is the energy of Virgo, right? So now we have Aries, Cancer, and Virgo energy popping up here with the sixth house. And this is about day to day because we're talking about Earth, right? Which is mundane in a sense, not in a negative sense, but just practicality, day to day experiences in the 3D universe, right? This is um, someone that's tapping into more natural ways of being and expressing those natural ways of being in their day to day, applying themselves because um, it says work details and health. So understanding also that health is a main focus for you and the health of your family. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And finally, we have Libra, another air sign under Gemini. Okay, and the, the Libra card, again, is all about relations. This could be relations with one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this could be relations with family. This could be relations with people in the workplace, with peers, and the relationship with yourself. Okay, so... Definitely new relationships will be manifesting. You need to use your creative ability of communication, your style of communication, right? To ensure that you bring a sense of harmony, balance, right? And cooperation to the relationships that you have in your life. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. So that is what we have as your messages from the Numinous Astro Deck. Now I'm going to go into some tarot, okay? Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, no matter what placement, right? King of Wands, followed by the Five of Wands, followed by the Queen of Cups. Whoa. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So we have two card, we have two um, of the, what are they called? The court cards, right? We have the King of Wands, right? That's that Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Right? We have the Queen of Cups, which is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay, so I just got a few messages. First, for some of you, this is your Divine Masculine energy that you're tapping into. This is your Divine Feminine energy. Sometimes there's a little bit of conflict in between the two because your Divine Masculine energy, right, can be very active, very strong, sometimes dominating, right? When fire energy is not in a high vibration, it can be destructive, right? When fire energy is in a high vibration, it is creative. We have water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, right? This is the nurturing mother, right? Energy, the loving energy. Very um, tapped into emotional high. This is being very in tune with intuition, very in tune with emotions, and then we have the Five of Wands, which brings in that sense of standstill and a little bit of conflict or turmoil, right? Because as you see, there's like a sense of battle just happening there. Now, from my understanding, the battle could be the struggle that you have in maintaining, right, the energies between your Divine Feminine and your Divine Masculine energy. Also, for some of you, there's a King of Wands, right, that is in your King of Wands that is in your, um, around you, and you are having some type of either, there's some actions around you too that are creating like miscommunication, that's creating a standstill, a halt in the experience with you too that needs harmony because we have Libra energy up here, right? And it's the first, the fourth, and the sixth house, which is yourself, your foundation, which your, which your home, right? And then making sure that things are Things are being done with well-being, right? As a as a as a priority. So for some of you, there is a connection between a fire sign and yourself, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Okay, and with that five, there's some changes that need to manifest, right? There's some decisions and there's things that need to be brought up because there's conflict there.
pull from the bottom. The lovers, Gemini energy. The three of pentacles, exactly. And the six of swords. So with the king of wands, there's the lover's energy. So this is definitely someone um, you could possibly have uh, some type of connection with that leaves you feeling exposed, very vulnerable, right? And understanding that there's a real decision that needs to be made between you and this person. With the five of wands, right? I told you that's that energy of conflict, right? There's some, some, some things that need to be changed, things that need to be discussed, some forward movement to come out of that. And it's followed by the three of pentacles, right? Which three is that creation and harmonious energy. This is working together, right? To create something new with others. So there is that potential there for you and this person to come out of this five energy, five of wands. But that decision is either mostly based on them. Because right now they're in a tug of war. I'm not sure of what decision choice they want to make. Well, for quite possibly Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, for you, as the Queen of Cups, you are almost ready to move on. And in a sense, because with the Six of Swords, this is moving on to calmer, clearer, um, emotional sense of being, right? But also, you could deep down be wanting um, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, be wanting for this King of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, I mean, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, to make that decision to work with you, right? To move forward to a better state in your connection with them. This is also you, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, realizing that you may have to choose, right? Between being in a connection with someone because there are work matters that are going to be coming your way very soon with this Three of Pentacles where you may have to move away from this person's energy, right? So you can accomplish this new beginning, this new creative beginning where you're working with new people, working for a new establishment, okay? wasn't asking for that but two cards fell we have the sun definite leo energy so cancer scorpio and pisces is definitely maybe a leo energy around you but this is the sun and this definitely says that there's a rebirth of joy and happiness right this person may very well choose to work with you to create this new with three of pentacles they may choose to create this new beginning with you because there's the sun energy right here which is very positive we know the sun energy is very positive right it talks about a rebirth it talks about people being vulnerable this talks about things being illuminated so you have the clarity and then the seven of pentacles we go from the five of wands to the three of pentacles to the seven of pentacles now right you just put that right there so from the three to the seven means that Whatever it is that you're going to be moving towards, where you're going to be creating new experiences with people, um, this could be work-related, this could be relationship-related. It Again, it's going to require your patience, but it's going to require you to take the time to make sure that you ensure that you nurture all of these opportunities that are coming your way, because soon things will manifest for you. They'll come into fruition. At the bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles, which is a positive sign. The Four of Cups right here at the top says someone is feeling, someone is definitely waiting. They're in that Four of Cups energy, right? There's two options here. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles, where you move away, which is fitting for this because we go from the three to the seven to the nine. You're going to move away right to becoming even more stable even more um grounded even more secure in your personal power right understanding that you are living and creating your reality how you see it fit however be mindful 
that there will be times where it will feel um, 